Hi, I'm Marianne Gust, a radiological technologist here at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And this is what you can expect during a fluoroscopy exam. Fluoroscopy uses x-ray to create images of the internal organs in real time. Computers help create images of the structures on the screen. Oral contrast is used to enhance the images. Fluoroscopy is used to help diagnose problems with your esophagus, stomach, duodenum, and small bowels. This procedure allows doctors to visualize the movement of oral contrast through the digestive system in real time. The fluoroscopy exam will scan your upper GI and small bowel. Upper GI will show the esophagus and stomach. Small bowel series will show the stomach and small intestine. Before the test, do not eat or drink anything after midnight. You should not have had any contrast studies within 24 to 48 hours of this exam. Bring a list of all your current medications. You may take your regular medicine with small amounts of water. Drink plenty of water the day before and after the exam. Tell the nurse or technologist if you are allergic to any medicine or have received a high density contrast procedure. During the test, you will be asked to change into scrubs or a hospital gown. Your personal items will be secured in a locker. You will stand between a table and a fluoroscopy machine. You will drink a contrast medium. You will be asked to turn in different positions. This will allow the camera to take images of your abdomen from all angles. Multiple beeping sounds can be heard during the exam. Upper GI exams will take approximately 30 minutes. Small bowel series exams will take one to four hours or longer. After the test, you will be discharged immediately after the exam. There are no driving restrictions. Drink at least six to eight ounces of fluids, preferably water. You may eat a regular diet. Include fiber unless otherwise instructed to do so by your doctor. There is no radiation to be concerned with. Your doctor will discuss the results with you at your next appointment. So, I hope that better explains what happens during a fluoroscopy examination. And if you have any further questions, feel free to call the Diagnostic Imaging Department.